Hi, I'm David Ingram, Extension Plant Pathologist with Mississippi State University. Today on Gardening Through the Seasons, I want to talk about a very common disease in southern landscapes of both azaleas and camellias. That happens to be the fungal disease we call azalea leaf gall. I'm holding some examples in my hand and uh, basically the disease is very easily identified. Uh, basically, if you come out and, and look at the terminal ends of the new growth on the, on the bush in the, in the early spring, you will see these tumorous type light green, uh, leathery uh, overgrowths, uh, distortions that are basically uh, taking over the leaf structure is primarily where we see them growing. Um, the galls will uh, begin as these light green structures. Uh, later on in the life of the gall, they will turn white on the undersides of the galls, which is at the time that the fungus is producing the spores. Um, later on, uh, the galls will turn a more dark brown color, uh, and then they will dry up and then fall off on the ground underneath the azalea and the camellia bush. Now these fallen galls are the, um, this will be the source of the fungus for next year's infection. And so um, very easy to identify and actually very easy to control as well. We don't normally recommend fungicides for the management of azalea leaf gall. What we tell the homeowner to do is go out to the plant physically inspect, find these individual galls, and then pull them off of the plant, and then place them into a plastic bag, such as this. And that might take a little while to get all the galls off of an individual plant, but place them into a plastic bag, and then put this into the trash for proper disposal. This will help minimize the chances for the disease the following growing season. Azalea leaf gall also affects camellias, and that includes both types, the Sasanqua camellias and the Camellia japonicus. Basically, the symptoms are very similar. We see an enlarged leaf that is light, pale green, yellowish green in color. Uh, the rec control recommendations are essentially the same. We recommend that those galls be removed from the plant placed into a Ziploc bag and then properly disposed of in the trash and that too will help minimize the amount of disease on those plants in the following growing season. Azalea leaf gall is more of an aesthetic concern in the landscape. It will hardly ever become severe enough to where it will be a detriment or even kill the plant and it's up to the homeowner whether they want to remove the galls or not. I'm David Ingram and this is Gardening Through the Seasons.